Hi guys, this is Amanda with Crafts by Amanda, and today we're going to make this DIY driftwood crab wall art. Here are the supplies that you'll need. You can also get them on craftsbyamanda.com. Start off by cutting eight pine boards to 24 inches long. Then you're going to paint one side of each board with gray chalky paint. Let them dry completely when you're all done. Next, paint each board with white cream wax. This is applied similar to a stain where you do sections and then rub off the excess with a clean rag. Now glue the pine boards together using wood glue. Make sure the edges line up and then cut one by one pieces of trim to make your frame. Paint each of these pieces gray. Set them all aside and let them dry. Head over to craftsbyamanda.com to print out the crab template. Align the pieces and tape the template together. If you place the template on a piece of Bristol board for the next step, it makes it easier. Use the template to help plan out the right pieces of driftwood before gluing them all together. Paint the selected driftwood pieces with white cream wax. Now add the frame to the pine boards. Affix the corners and then turn it over and work from the back side. When you're finished, turn the frame back over again. Print out a second copy of that crab template. Tape it together and then cut it out. Use this template to lightly trace the crab onto the frame. Use a pencil, that way you can erase any lines showing at the end. Now, simply put it all together. I have a tip for you, and that is to take a photo with your phone so that you can see exactly which pieces you used. Use a generous amount of glue to affix each piece onto the backboard. Hold the pieces down for a few seconds just to secure them in place. They're still going to move around until the glue dries. So you'll have an opportunity to move them and get them into position the way you want them. Brush off any excess glue. And glue the eyes in place.
Place some stones or heavy books onto the crab to weigh down the driftwood pieces so they can dry. And there you have it. Isn't it beautiful? We love it. You can find more tutorials on craftsbyamanda.com.